The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost Robert Lee Frost, who lived from 1874 to 1963, was an American poet. He depicted rural life in realistic form in the early 20th century. This poem, The Road Not Taken, was published in the year 1916. It is divided into four stanzas of five lines each. The rhyming scheme of the poem is A-B-A-A-B. -A -A -B. The title of the poem, The Road Not Taken, is very interesting. Emphasis is given on the word not because the poem symbolizes life and the road that is the path which we don't choose in our life. The word not focuses the poem on lost opportunities. The poem describes the inevitable choice. It begins with a dilemma. Making a choice metaphorically means that the speaker is reflecting on his life choices and how it is going to affect his life. Let's read the poem. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. The poem begins with a dilemma, that is a confusion. The speaker, while walking, comes to a fork in the road, that means a diversion where a road is separated into two different directions, and thus has to decide which part to follow. Wood here means forest, and yellow refers to the season of fall that is autumn. So, we understand that yellow woods suggest the poem being set in autumn, and the trees encountering yellow leaves evokes a sense of transience that one season will soon give way to another. Road is symbolic of two choices in life, and the speaker finds it difficult to make a choice which will be best for him. The speaker gives a deep thought as to which road he must continue and sees one of the roads disappearing in the undergrowth. So, in this stanza, we understand that the narrator's choice about which road to take represents the different choices we sometimes have to make and how those decisions affect our future. Frost here tries to capture the uncertainty about decision-making process and a man's natural desire to know the outcome of the decision taken. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as far that the passing there had warned them really about the same. The speaker kept on looking at one path for a long time because being an individual traveller, he could not travel on both the roads. It suggests that before taking any decision, he wanted to check if it was the right path or direction for him. After some time, he proceeded on the other path which was full of grass as according to him, it was less travelled by any other travellers and considers his decision as a fair one. Maybe because he wanted to say that the road was beautiful or he wanted to be fair in choosing the correct path. After covering a distance on his chosen path, he realized that both the paths were equally used. It is suggestive of the fact that any decisions taken in our life have the same advantages disadvantages, difficulties, challenges, benefits and so on and what we can do is to face them. Wanted wear is a personification used in the poem as roads have no ones but humans have. Path here is personified that is given human quality. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how we leads on to we, I doubted if I should ever come back. The speaker saying that both the parts appearing to be similar that morning suggests lack of clarity and confusions in life. Because while taking a decision, we are not sure if we are right or wrong. 
he decides to take another path and keep the first for the other day although he knew that he could never go back and explore the other one similarly in our life once we choose an option we have to keep on moving ahead with that and we can never get a chance to come back and take the option which we left earlier i shall be telling this with a shy somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference the last stanza challenges us to overcome obstacles and difficulties in life it put forward a strong message that we should be wise while making decisions because its impact will be visible and will be realized after several years in future the speaker would say with a shy because he will say once upon a time he had reached such a point in life that there were two options for him and he chose to move on a less traveled road and it had made difference in his life because we know that our future completely depends on the choice we make today i hope you understood the poem well thank you